We are in a very special spot with Reload here on this channel. A year ago, we started our co-op adventure on FES after our first Persona, Persona 4 Golden. I heard Persona was a spin-off of the main series, Shimagami Tensei, so I assumed the timeline went something like Shimagami Tensei 3, then Persona 4. So I booted up Nocturne and got bodied. No, we collectively got bodied. And then we found FES with the controllable party members mod and got bodied some more. P3 surprised the hell out of me. I quickly considered it not too far behind Golden, and after playing a bit more, it had me second guessing which was my favorite entry in the series. Towards the end of our run, we were aware that Remake was on the way, Give through leaks first point. and then official announcements. Part of me is like, wow, wait right until the end of our playthrough to announce Reload. Wish I'd waited. And then the other half of me is happy I played FES, because I probably wouldn't have had the motivation to play the OG after the remaster. And believe me, both have their charms. Put you in a trance. <laughs> Our first steps into that dorm were magic, but instead of running it back the same way, looking for that same magic, I thought I'd hop in the back seat this time around and let Fad Dippa experience Persona 3 blind, so that maybe we could turn that frown of his upside down. Oh, I look dead inside us. I, Waffle, will act as Fat's Persona 3 Reload Chronicler. We will upload the other Personas and even the fabled FES co-op run. But right now, the dark hour is upon us, and during this time, things get a little bit quirky in this ocean paradise. Oh no, Lobron. You shouldn't be out here at 12 o'clock. Hey, why is it green outside, guys? That's your favorite color. Oh, I do love green. For a Persona game, this is definitely the most hard and fast I've experienced. They do not sugarcoat this intro. As soon as you exit that station, it feels like you could get jumped right there. But Fad didn't mind the atmosphere. As he said, green is his favorite color. You can't help but wonder where everybody went. Where could they have gone without their bikes? Pools of blood are kind of weird, admittedly, but we can't let that bother us. We've got places to be and things to climb. Oh, I'm not taking the bike. I'm gonna walk instead. Taking a bike would... <sighs> Fuck up the dark and mysterious vibe. <laughs> You're a toad I dorm. I guess this is it. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> the dark hour. Bling bling. <laughs> He's just biking. Got my belt. I need my little propeller hat. He so <laughs> plays that perfect. Plays that Pokemon bite music. Yeah, you know, <laughs> comically small tricycle with a comically large swirly lollipop and a propeller hat. <laughs> Welcome. If you wish to proceed, sign your name here. In the famous words of that thief guy from Smash, I should write something. The name we're going with is Sudoku Go, lingo from the Maya ages of the internet. If you know, you know. And I'm surprised Prison Boy gets it. It's not fake. I, I was born. My mom gave me this. Good. Hey, maybe I should have read the terms and agreement. After a strangely American greeting and acquaintance in Japan, Sudoku Go, what? our fresh off the train transfer student, is then shown to his room. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. Crazy how they put him all the way at the end of an empty dorm, but to be honest, if he casually strolled up through pools of blood on the way in, I too would keep you as far away as possible. Everything was perfect so far, and then Iwatodai Dorm started playing and it was even better. Unfortunately, this is not a perfect world. The lyric, I'ma put you in a trance, was gutted from Iwatodai Dorm. I don't care what you do to the song, but don't take my trance. You know, it's iconic. But you can rest assured this isn't gonna be some P3 soul versus soulless comparison. And we really do come around to the new song. All right, now let's get to school. A true man should always carry the fiery soul of a samurai with him. This fucking oh, guy, like this bro. Guy. <laughs> this fucking guy. Bro. No! No, not again. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Fire and learns the ways of the great samurai also. This is every weeb's dream. They just want to go to Japan as a foreign exchange student <laughs> that'd be taught by a fucking samurai. The first day of school went by quick. And thank God for that, because I hate school, even though that's some 30% of Persona games. After school, Sudokugo was making a grave mistake by skipping merrily down the hallway. This playthrough is a blind one for Fat Dippa, and we don't backseat game, except for when it comes to the fizzy drink of legend. But we're still on rails, so no bull for us tonight. Soon though, I promise. What comes out of that vending machine is not fuel for your body, it's for your soul. That sounds serious, I'll have to... I'll go, guess, get my money up. Go rest up, get your money up, and you'll be prepared. Hello there. 
How is the sci-fi room going, guys? Oh. Hey, yes. What? I'm observing him <laughs> in his room right monitoring now. Monitoring When he me? first met me, he swore he was a gamer, yet so, I have observed zero doing? gaming. So he's a schizophrenic liar. Not even <sighs> one gaming? Not one gaming session. What? He, he could have at least played Candy Crush or something. While Sudoku Go was getting his sleep in, doing a whole lot of nothing, the people out in the streets were also doing a whole lot of nothing at a spot we dubbed Tweaker's Alley, accompanied by the most aggressively Japanese hip-hop instrumental. When the clock strikes 12, things get a bit hectic out in the Iwatodai streets. Why or what for? Uh huh. And at this point in time, that's all you're supposed to know. What the? So while there's no way to come prepared for something like this, I for one can't wait for our hero to spring into action, flex his natural acumen, and save the night. He's still sleeping. He's still sleeping. Uh, he could get like on his Xbox or something. <laughs> what's what's wrong with him? <laughs> Maybe hand him a DS or something. Maybe get him on that Pokemon. Yeah. Pokemon go to the dark hour maybe. Get it guys, from gaming. Sudoku Go hasn't shown much interest in anything. The only thing we could hope capable of grabbing his attention at this point would be the man who could literally invade his dreams. I'm sure many of you know how this goes, but for the uninitiated, Igor and his assistant pledge their allegiance to our hero and allude to a sense of mission that's to be carried out. Though I'm not sure if Sudoku Go was taking that dream seriously. I mean, he has so many these days. What a weird dream. Oh well, school. Junpei introduced himself the other day at school, and now our gloomy protag has a friend. Fortunate, as he definitely wouldn't have made any any other way. After school, Junpei shows Sudoku around the main spot in Iwatodai. There's a lot of things you could get up to here at the mall, and Junpei did say they were going to grab a bite to eat, but his entire neural network got hijacked when he spotted the crane game off in the distance. Bro, cover me. I'm just going to stick my hand in the thing. After an embarrassing opening shot, he and Sudoku spent all night trying to procure a Jack Frost doll by any means necessary. And now we're back at the dorm, with Fat hitting the Sudoku Go special. This was going to make for another very uneventful night of surveillance, until we received a certain call. You're not going to believe it. This thing is huge. Hey, yo. I can hear Kohango, bro. bro. You know, <laughs> right yo, now. guys. I'm smoking my shit right now. I got lotion on my dick. I can hear Kohango. Guys, don't We're go in the, the dark hour. Sudoku Go reluctantly gets out of bed and escapes to the rooftop with Yukari. Or so they thought. While they're up there, they get cornered by a boss that swats Yukari to the side. Damn, the whole squad saw that one. Embarrassing Yukari. Could not be me. If I were in Persona, I'd instantly kill everything because I would have purchased Izanagi no Okami for $5.99 plus taxes. Anyways, Sudoku Go picks up the gun after having a laugh at Yukari's expense and awakens to his Persona. I need to protect her. He then packs these little shadows up because they split forms for whatever reason and passes out from what I would call awakening fatigue. But this guy is just chronically fatigued regardless, so I don't really know what's going on with him. Are you okay? <sighs> Finally, Sudoku Go is reunited with a bed. That must have felt like an eternity with no blankie. He's then released from the hospital, and you cannot make this up, he goes right back to sleep the same day. They remade the song for fat. I'm do whatever you want. I'm chilling in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Long time no see. What's up? Did you have an upset stomach or something for like four days? After school, there was a meeting to discuss what had went down the other night, where Akihiko apologized for gooning in the dark hour. We're then caught up to speed on the state of things as the cast knows it. Apparently, there's an additional hour in the day that takes place at 12 a.m. on the dot, in which the vast majority of people will be turned into coffins, and time will cease for those affected. By using the powers of Persona, the students unaffected by the dark hour fight back against the creatures that spawn in the night, except for Yukari. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour. Voluptuous things. So do you got a Persona too? Will you stop using the hard R with that? We prefer to be civilized around here. We don't use the R at the end of Persona, so if you would. Oh, okay. I guess if you guys are just gonna gang up on me like that. Sudoku Go would have never signed that contract had he known his sleep schedule would forever be in turmoil, but here we are. <laughs> While Akihiko was out doing his activities in the dark hour, he found Junpei alive, uncoffined and unaffected. 
During the meeting, we talked about a place called Tartarus, and that is believed to hold secrets about the Dark Hour, and there we agreed to help excavate them. But Tartarus is a dangerous place, Akihiko reiterated. Any and all manpower would be welcome. If you're not a coffin, you get a room in the dorm. And Junpei just so happened to be one of the uncoffined. I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I love gooning in the alleyway! Junpei was already briefed and wasn't deterred by the whole personas fighting shadows business, so that meant we could start exploring that strange place soon enough. Starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like us to finally begin exploring Tartarus. The school is tartar sauce. Y'all ready for this? Oh, brother. We got a little warning this time around about our current difficulty, Merciless. The game told us that we couldn't swap difficulties mid-game, so we should be really sure about locking it in. At this point, I'm hoping Sudoku gets an authentic P3 experience, which involves all stages of grief and the occasional cock and ball torture. Welcome to Tartar. We'll also need to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. Me! I'll be leader. I'll be leader. It'll be me. It'll be me. I'm that guy. Like the captain of a pirate ship? You call me yeah, Luffy, because I'm the captain. captain. Me, me okay, I'm Luffy, I'm Luffy. No, not gonna be you. <laughs> if I could choose any alternate Persona reality to witness, it would definitely be one where Junpei was chosen as party lead, right? Like, it doesn't get much better than that. Though, no shade on Sudoku's leadership just yet. He's got the right idea hitting the Velvet Room first. I heard you have great power. I am Fortius. Allow me to show you the secret chant that will grant you all my power. Fortius, Cordius, Morbius. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this Fortius gonna shut the fuck up. <laughs> As expected, our first venture into the tartar sauce was on rails for the most part. The tutorial shadows were falling over so quickly, I had to keep hearing this damn Junpei line over and over. Maybe we can do without that reality where Junpei is squad lead. <laughs> Perfecto. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you gonna do that every time? Do you know how many floors of Tartarus there are, bro? I can't take this shit. It's a bar. It's a bar. While exploring, I noticed that shadows in the roaming mode saw a nerf to their reactions, and the player's attack speed was buffed. You can now just spam attack if you miss instead of holding those whiffed frames, and most likely not get punished by the shadow. Unless you had the knuckles, if you missed an FES, you were definitely getting 180'd on. It seems that attacking shadows was a bit trickier in the original, and the right kind of difficulty that I think most people could get behind, so I'm not really sure why it was gutted. The only people missing a shadow now are the ones playing with the busty Yukari mod in one hand busy. I stop being mad at you, I'll pass it to you, leader. Thanks, I'm glad you don't let your emotions cloud your judgment. Well, we'll see about that in the future. After some more time spent here, we still didn't manage to get to the cap. We wanted to keep going until we found the dividing floor that separates our section of Tartarus versus what's locked off. We didn't get there, and I was honestly surprised. We took out two floor bosses and still apparently had more to go. But while we're on the topic of climbing floors, I want to talk about the checkpoint system quick. There are many teleporters you can access throughout Tartarus, but only a select few will enable you to re-enter through them, essentially saving your spot in the tower. This adds a slight risk-reward factor to progression because you have to be successful at leaps and bounds instead of saving whenever you like. Initially, we thought the TP system might have been changed so that every teleporter saved your progress. All we knew for certain, though, was that we were flying through these checkpoints without an ounce of that grueling climb feeling from before. There were many things that could be attributed to the difficulty we experienced in Fez when climbing that are absent here, and net buffs to available strategies took their place. You guys are about to get roasted. Roasted like what? <laughs> roasted like chicken breast. And it seems there wasn't much in terms of compensation for the loss of things like Adderall shadows. I bring all of this up to say, climbing in Tartarus with the boys is one of my favorite gaming experiences, and I signed up for Merciless, gosh darn it. Keep in mind that this is all opt-in, and if you don't like CBT, that's cool. There's four other difficulties when there only really needs to be two. But I like the new mechanics, I really do, so I suggest that maybe the teleporter distance should have been increased, and maybe a few floors added to compensate for the new stuff, so that new Persona players could experience that grueling climb, if they so choose to. Anyways, those are my Tartarus first impressions from a Tartarus diehard, tired mechanic, FES enjoyer. Welcome back. So, how was it? Uh. I'm exhausted. I haven't slept all night. What the? Hey, aren't you supposed to be in bed? Isn't that like your thing? 
He's up right now? He's still up? Imagine not talking to your boy, the guy who appointed you leader. Hey, I was talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Much to everyone's shock, it's currently nighttime and Sudokugo is not sleeping. He's trying to be a responsible leader by getting upgrades and items for the team. Keyword trying, while being distracted by any and everything along the way. No, I gotta stay focused. No burgers. Not yet. So yeah, we sold, spent, acquired some new gear, made stats go up. I'll spare you the shopping spree lore and get back to the tartar sauce. Just how much higher can we go before something funny happens to the moon? By now you should have a good idea of what goes down in Tartarus, and it was taking its toll. This session takes place over the course of multiple days, and the only time we left was to restock on HP items and get Sudoku his coveted nappy time. Stop showing me Remember this? this? Remember how you can't have this? <laughs> <laughs> Sudoku didn't have any keys for chests anymore, and we had to dip into the Mad Bull reserves to keep pushing. We could have left again, but we didn't want to spend any more days climbing than necessary. A couple of floors later, and another one of the faded floor bosses was upon us. Guys of this caliber are scattered all throughout Tartarus, and if we want to keep climbing, we gotta go through them. I don't know about this one. You're gonna die here. Wait, that's that been me. me! Yo! God. <laughs> oh, oh, shit! Oh, no. Oh, the floor boss oh, is my a God. boss! Oh, oh, we're back! Help! Sudoku Go throws out a little something to aid the sorry state of our HP, and we throw a little bit of everything at this guy to no avail until something gets through. Poisoned. What? Damn! Oh, you poisoned. That's crazy. I said we were out of keys. I never said we didn't get anything. Nobody seemed to care when it was a bow that came out of the chest, but who's laughing now? I have no idea why the poison is ticking so hard, but because it was, I was able to focus on healing and still had the highest damage output. I'm gonna be sad when this thing falls off, but it's probably for the best. Chat seemed pretty upset about this cosmic luck. I was seeing a whole lot of they not readies and whatnot up until I yukari all over the place. I know you guys are out for blood just as much as me, but not today. I did that. <sighs> Done. Good shit, team. While we're at it, how about we spice things up every now and then? Like, by changing up the leader. Like me. <laughs> like, no, it should be me. You're not crawling your way up here. Alright, I think we've seen enough. Let's head home. Outside of Tartarus, mumblings of the phenomena and apathy syndrome were growing louder. Apparently, some people suddenly lost their minds and were shambling around like zombies from a cause that's medically ambiguous. So, overall, not too dissimilar from Sudokugo's behavior. I must admit, the school and reload looks great. It's always been on the brighter side, but now that it's enhanced, it serves as even greater contrast for when the atmosphere shifts to something more haunting. But I do miss that brown and grungy feel from the original dorm. It really complemented the tone of the game, and the aesthetic helped set it apart from the other personas I'd played. That shit was so depressing even the pro tag didn't want to be there. Something on the floor. Yo, gun to your what? head, pick your side. Oh, I'm staff side. I'm Come on, guys. Staff gang. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. 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 Sword gang. Did I, did I really need you to Junpei to proclaim which side you were on? <laughs> <laughs> Word around the school grounds is that the track team is looking for new members, and Sudoku's interested. This is following the trend of him doing very uncharacteristic things as of late. But he currently has no friends, and like sleep, socializing is a human need. So he heads to the track, and we try to contain our laughter at the sight of Kazushi. Looks like Sudoku's starting to get the hang of this whole staying awake thing. Hell, let's ask the girl we just met at track out. Why not? Actually, no, I'm in a hurry today. Oh, I got I got rejected. Guys, I'm I'm gonna crawl back into my show and never talk to a girl again. <laughs> I guess that learned charisma from the visual novel at the arcade isn't worth much. However, will he find a woman now? Well, look no further than Mr. E, who promises us he can cure all that ails, even love, especially love. Sipping a Coda's abomination got our courage up, and that's gonna count for something, especially if he becomes a fool. I be gooning all in my bed, no one can stop me, no one can rock with me. Edging in the sheets, edging in the street. <laughs> uh, receiving invites on days off. Hanging out with people. Okay, I guess maybe I could. Hey, remember me? Oh, it's this guy! <laughs> we should hang out. <laughs> okay, fine, Atlas, you win. We'll hang out with Ken. What the hell is that fit, man? Dude, it's not, the drip is not that bad. It's I'm drowning in it right now. You are aware. Gotta give you a break. You called me the Rizzler. It's cool. You should know that. <laughs> no one calls you the Rizzler. 
Oh, my bad, Kenji. I wasn't familiar with your game. The Rizzler of Iwatodai himself falls right into our lap when we needed him most. This meeting must be fate. Kenji shares with us his favorite moon maxing tips, and we head back to the dorm to implement. Not really, but we do pay the Mad Bull tax and wake up to Showa Day. A free day with no school, but more importantly, the first day of private internet access. Junpei gave Sudoku this MMO called Innocent Sin Online, and it was time we gave the people on the cameras what they've been waiting for, gaming. Though, I gotta be honest, I think Innocent Sin Online is the last thing a lonely Sudoku go needed right now. So, if you're bored, maybe we can level together. It sucks to be lonely. I've come to be acquainted Ega. with a player that goes by the name Maya. You've Guys, met an internet I'm, friend. I'm getting a gamer girlfriend. <laughs> this was pretty much how the days passed by. School, track team, gaming, and sleep. No more Tartarus because we'd already reached our current cap and we didn't feel the need to grind. And the main cast aren't available to hang, otherwise we'd certainly be doing that. With each passing day, the full moon drew closer and the amount of zombies walking the streets were increasing. In FES, we knew things were getting pretty bad when we could spot an apathy zombie right outside of our dorm in the alley. I thought it was a good touch, but I, maybe it was too creepy. I don't know. All of this to say, with the way things are going right now, something's gotta give, and real soon. Welcome back. Chill yep, vibes. Dude. Hey. Hey. Have you seen how many of those freaks there are in town lately? They're acting like zombies. Junpei, what they're, the fuck? They're not they're, freaks. They're, they're not human. They're, they're not depressed. human anymore. No, they're not. They're not humans anymore. I can tell. Look at them. Have you seen them? Junpei, those aren't people. They're tweaking. Just because they're it's under the so influence insensitive. doesn't mean they're not human. What does tweaking mean? Okay, have you ever had aspirin? Medicine is by the government. I don't take medicine. You're still at it? The, the thingamabob? Yes. You never know when an enemy might appear. <laughs> What's the doohickey doing? It's a shadow. Mitsuru's detected a shadow outside of Tartarus and deemed it fit to be dispatched of. She can't tell much about it, but we do know it's on a different level from what we've faced so far. Akihiko's arm is still blown out from his activities last full moon, so it's up to the rookies to save the night from our enemy who's giving off signals somewhere on these tracks. Holy hell, we're real high up! I think I'm gonna hurl. Oh man, we're just gonna face him head on on the rails? Yeah. We're gonna rail him. Akihiko, get off the comms! <clears throat> there should be a monorail about 200 meters ahead from where you are now. Get there as quickly as you can. We don't want any passengers to get hurt. Nah, no, hold on. I gotta put respect on this track right here. This is a sleeper song in the soundtrack. It's good enough to play every full moon, to be honest. And that wailing in the background that's bordering somewhere between harmonious and unnerving? Absolutely perfect. And light years ahead of the original Deep Breath mix. You know, if you're scared, leader, I can take the lead. No, it's alright, I got this. It's going down anyways, whatever. Full moon, full goon. Let's do it. Really hate that you named the stream. <laughs> Yukari leads the charge into the train, and once inside, Junpei makes a comment about how none of these humans turned coffins will remember any of this, and how that's probably for the better. But right now, we should be worried about us, because we clearly just walked into a trap. Gah? Creepers, creepers. Uh oh. Jiminy Crickets! We're trapped! I, the door! Damn! It won't open! We relay the situation to Mitsuru, who doesn't know quite what to make of this, but encourages us to stay on higher alert regardless. Then this singular goofy little shadow pops up in front of us, and just starts hovering wistfully away. Truly a master of manipulation, because this singular act divided the party. Sudoku and Mitsuru are of the mind that we should take things slow to avoid a worse situation. But Junpei is a gamer, and you know we hate queue times. We can't just stand here and let it get away! We can beat that thing, no problem! Okay, but there's definitely a bigger myself. one here. Man, I'm gonna goon with or without you! What? Ooh. Bro! <laughs> That's my boy right there! That's my guy! Bro. You can't- Oh, it was a trap, I told you! Sudoku Go was absolutely devastated that Junpei would leave him like that. Right after he bought him a new sword too. We definitely felt the lack of damage in this fight, but overall it was wrapped up pretty quick. Oh, I'm gonna beat that motherfucker when I find him. I still think he would win the 1v1, but alright. Oh, there's another? 
This fight also wasn't that difficult, except for the fact that we're starting off with our HP gimped. We got caught lacking and wiped on these shadows without a real hero around to dish out damage. But we did misplay quite a bit here, so after locking in, we didn't have any issues running it back. Oh, thank God. Now we hurry up and reunite with Junpei in a train car up ahead and find him ambushed. Nah, we gotta level the playing field. I'm gonna pass it to the hero. The hero is here. Suffice to say that with Junpei back in the party, things were looking up. This rescue battle was aced. We shared a nice heart to heart and seemingly got back on the same page. Now it should be pretty clear what's going on here. Whatever subtlety remained in the shadow's plan is completely gone. We're locked in a train that's speeding on a collision course to another train. And our best course of action? Charge forward. So basically, Junpei was right. There it is! Found you! Damn. Hey yo, he's- What the hell is this? BJ! Damn. Huh? Guys, that's the one! Um, <laughs> that's the one, that's that's the one he was going to! That's our target? Yo, I can't I, fall, Akihiko! Gah! He I have to goon shit. to that. I get it! I thought you knew how to goon, Junpei. In private? I don't know. <laughs> All right, team. Together. And so the final battle of this moon begins. The atmosphere is tense enough, and then the boss laughs at us while slapping a doom timer on. Our opening move was attack down because fuck her, that's why. I try applying that juicy poison to no avail, and Junpei buffs Sudokugo's defense. We were ready for the bomb she threw out next turn. Oh That's not my bad, God. that's not too bad. What the f- oh, boss? What was that? The monorail starting to shake? There's even what? less time until impact now. Going faster. What? No, we're gonna run out of time. Another turn of damage from our side passes, and the boss shows us another mechanic, summons. We soon find out she brought back one of those light spammers that dropped us before. Even with the boss's attack down, a combination of Koha and Bufala was enough to drop Sudoku Go. Ah. There were quite a few losses, so I'm not trying to edit this to save Fat's hide. It's actually for my own sake. Trust when I say that the Just Bleed chat was getting exactly what they wanted. Though it wasn't so sweet when I was going down with the ship. I should have thought that one out before I picked my side. It's not going to surprise anyone to say that once we figured out the weaknesses, we started gaining momentum. Got it. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to pass the Junpei. I think the other one's fire. Damn. That was nice. I think the other one's fire. Let's check it. Fire. Read like a book. Download complete. Just matching the elements was pretty simple, but not enough because in the end we were still running out of time. So instead of cleaning up the little shadows efficiently, we left them alive to give Junpei more turns. When you hit a weakness, you can pass your turn to an ally, the mechanic borrowed from Persona 5. Uh, pass the Junpei. Pass, pass, no, Wait. no, no, pass the Junpei. Jun pass the Junpei. We gotta give Junpei as many turns as possible. Yeah, you're right. That's good, that's okay. good. Hit the boss. And then to you. Oh, yeah, this is genius. Nice. Thanks for asking, chat, but I'm Do it again. <laughs> yeah, I'm too bad. Yeah, you We're fucking we get <gasps> Oh, we're all dying. Alright, well, hey, we know, what the, we know the strat. That was a good strat. We're good. We're good. We're good. We were down, but not out. Sudoku Go revives and heals the team, but that rancid gravy doesn't hit Yukari's stomach so right. She CC'd out of the final push. It was up to Junpei and Sudoku to finish the BJ boss, much to Akihiko's dismay. You Please, let that. it be me. Yes, I'll tank it. Okay, nice, nice. Just beat the shit out of the boss. That's some go gameplay right no. there. No, 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 no. We gotta heal you. Or something. What? 40 yeah, seconds! Hurry up! Hurry up. 40 seconds! Time. 40 seconds! Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> fuck! <laughs> no! no! <laughs> never back down, never what? Hell yeah! Nice, good shit. First oh try! Oh my god. First try, honestly. That's my plan. Woohoo! Can you believe it, guys? The boss has been defeated. We're still moving. Why are we still moving? Oh, I guess we never did really stop the train. Our leader springs into action and does something presumably epic off screen. He claims he stopped the train on some Spider-Man shit, but I guess we'll never know. This night belongs to the rookies, but there are many to come. Wish us luck 
and pray for this chronically fatigued Sudoku go while you're at it. I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help on my end. I don't detect any more shadows. Well done. You can come on back now. Wait. All right, let's go. You know which one was the break? I know a lot about trains. Look at us. Look at us. Are you shitting me? Hey, what? Uh, you know what? That Never. one voice in my head came back and told me the right one just in time. Anyone want to grab a bite to eat on the way? I'm freaking starving. Man, I love your voices. Let's go eat something. Dude, it's the dark hour. Nothing's open. We'll go steal yeah. something. Fuck it. Who cares? Just take. I don't think I'm. Know. I don't. I'm the not gonna in the back eat of the a McDonald's dark. alternative to coffins. I'm Let's get it. Eating a dark hour burger. Eaten. It's not like a croissant is gonna turn into a coffin. I'm not eating a dark hour burger. Whatever.